Today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Playmates Toys Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the Tech Wiz Donatello. Donnie is the coolest Tech Wiz ever. Being a soft shell turtle may be a drawback in the ninja world. But with a series of battle shells and transforming bow staff, Donnie can take on any foe. So let's figure out how tall Donatello stands, and we may need a tape measure for that. I just so happen to have a tape measure in my hand right now, which you guys seem to really quite like. It allows me the option to uh, tell you that the figure is in 4.5 inches in height. And if somebody then says, well, what is that in centimeters? That's okay, I can switch it over to centimeters as well to tell you that the figure stands 11.4 centimeters in height. And to also show you how he stacks up, let's bring in the previous figure that we had a look at, Leonardo. This is one of those rare instances in which you have Donatello slightly shorter than Leonardo. We've sort of been taught that Donatello always tends to be a little bit taller than Leo, but according to this lineup, the turtles are roughly about the same height. In fact, I can put them side by side or back to back. Donatello might be just a little bit taller solely because of the headband that he's got on top of his head there. Turning Donatello back around and revealing the figure's accessories. Let's have a look at those right now. Similar to what we got with Leonardo, Donatello also comes with these same gray shurikens. They can be held in his hand, and while there isn't unfortunately any other place where you can store them, at the very least, you can put them into the turtle's hands, either like so, or what I've also seen as well, you can also put them in between his fingers. Which sort of does involve a little bit of prying, not prying you looking for information, but prying of the turtle's fingers to get these shurikens in place. But that's another option if you want to make it almost look as if he's throwing the shuriken rather than simply just holding it. Pop that back into place. So he comes with those. I suspect that the other turtles, without really even looking at the packaging, I think they actually all come with the shurikens, which seems to be a staple, a carryover, and almost a bit of a hark back to the original Playmates Turtles lines, which they did tend to have those, those little racks of the uh, multiple similar weapons, and shurikens or ninja stars were one of them. I don't know if that's intentional and the reasoning why Playmates did do that. Then he gets a bunch of these translucent weapons, which have carried over to what we also got with Leo. Leo got himself the uh, he got himself the sword, and he got himself a skateboard. Donatello, on the other hand, does come with his little hovering backpack here with the propeller blades. You can attach it just to his back. There's this clip right there, and there's these notches on the back. You just attach them like that. I think this is the right way it goes. I think in the opener of this review, I had them facing the opposite way, but... They just sort of plug in place just like that. Um, just before we actually look at his other accessories, one thing I like that uh, Playmates has done. Now, Donatello is a soft shell turtle. Leo was a red ear slider, which is one thing I really like about the show so far is that all the turtles, all four of the turtles are different species of turtles. But they play also to the fact that Donatello being, of course, he's a tech whiz, and he has to compensate for the fact that he has a soft shell. Well, Playmates is also included, which it did remove initially by accident. If you take this off, this little plastic kind of, kind of shield, if you will, you take it off and what you're exposed to is a very fragile um, soft shell, similar to what soft shell turtles would have in real life. Uh, certainly would make a lot of sense why Donatello then has to use tech in order to compensate for the fact that maybe he's not a great fighter because he does have a soft shell. I think that's really clever. Good little explanation in, that they've incorporated into the show. And then, of course, Playmates has incorporated into their figure. So there's this little backpack wheel. Put this back into his back. It's, like I said, it just kind of clips in place. There we go. And it stays placed. It's not going to go anywhere. Then he comes with his bow staff. 
a mild variation to what we normally see for bow staff, which is usually flat on both ends. This one seems to have instead almost like a spiked tip to it. Now there's a variation to that, like Leo's. He does have like the energy infused or flamed version of the same bow staff, which is actually right here. It's not as much of a bigger gap of space between the regular one and the flamed energy version of it. Unlike uh, Leo's, Leo's actually had the much longer blade if you remember that review. I like this, I like the little translucent plastic Gives you something fun to put in the turtle's hands. Um, I may not necessarily display him with both in his hand, but at the very least, I'll likely display him with this one because I think it's really neat. If you are also wondering too, you can take the weapon and the staff will fit in both of his hands. Just involves a little bit of uh, manipulation of, if you will, of the elbows, the arms and the hands, but he does hold both ends or rather two ends, two areas, the bow staff he does hold in his hand, just in case you're wondering. My service to provide as much info to you guys as possible. So let's put that aside and let's talk a little bit more info about Donatello here. I'm really liking the turtle cartoon. It seems more and more the I've seen probably, I'm trying to think of how much I've actually seen of the show, but I'm actually digging the animation style for it, which is I've said in the Leo review was a little jarring at first because it's not really what you would conventionally think of the Ninja Turtles as looking but sure enough the more I watch it the more I'm getting into the cartoon and uh, one can't certainly see one can certainly not overlook for the fact that the Michael Bay inspired turtles definitely plays some inspiration if you will to what we get here with Donatello the gadgeted Donatello with of course the goggles on the top of his head I think it really looks quite good it's almost like a pastel sort of coloring that they've used so far with the turtles that we've looked at. Leo also had the same sort of idea. The yellows and as well as the greens, though they do vary from one another, you'll see that the color skin tone between Donatello and Leo are different. They're not the same green. But the color palettes, the choices of greens and the other colors that they've used are almost more softer muted colors. And I actually like that because I think it looks a little bit more like the cartoon. The purples are a really nice shade of violet, as well as, of course, can't overlook his head. I like the head sculpt, too. Not a whole lot of paint happening here other than just the eyes and the pupils, but it's a really nice sculpted head sculpt. And then, of course, you've got the goggles on the top there. These cannot raise or lower. They're molded in place. He's got the softer plastic shell on the front and his belt running across. The little turtles, again, I think that's a communicator. I'm not 100% certain. I don't, I don't remember in all honesty. Then he's got, of course, the knee pads. Very similar looking Donatello to what we would see in previous cartoon outings. But again, just a little bit, a little bit more tweaked. The added bonus, of course, for Donatello is the fact that you do have a removable shell. Which you may want to be careful not to take that off. After all, he's a soft shell turtle. You don't want to hurt him in the process. Neat looking turtle though, I do like him. Now posability for this guy, his head rotates all the way around. It's the same as, as Leonardo. I don't know if I actually expressed this in the Leo review, but you can see how much posability these turtles actually possess. Um, you can tilt their heads side to side, but you can also give them a good high look. If this is the way, of course, you want to pose your figures, he does have the option there. The arms hinge outward and you can rotate them back. He has a little bit more freedom to bring his arms back, unlike Leo. This helps a long way too if you want to just take this off completely. Then he has the full range of motion in the arms there. So like I said, the arms move out and the arms move all the way around. He has a rotation in the forearm area. You can probably see right there, there's the hinge. The hinge allows the elbow to bend and also that same hinge allows the forearm to rotate. Hands also rotate as well. There's no waist swivel, but the legs do go forward and back. Uh, for them to go out this way, you would have to rotate the leg this way, and then they go this way. Does have a bend at the knee, as a rotation there as well, and he has a hinge and rotation in the in the uh, the feet area there. It does seem though, like if you put the two turtles side by side, 
doesn't look like they've carried over many of the same similar molds. Uh, even like the, the shoulder area, it does look like Leo's could be a little bit bigger, a little bit more muscular as he really should be. Again, same with the leg portion, much more, much more muscular in the thigh area than what Donnie has here. Again, makes perfect sense. Donnie may not be as physical, say, as the other turtles, but where he more than makes up for it is the fact, of course, he is the tech whiz of the four turtles. One sweet touch that Playmates Toys has added to the Donatello figure, unlike the Leo, is they've played up to the fact that he does have the soft shell. So he does have an armored shell plate that you can take off the turtle, exposing the soft shell turtle shell underneath. That's a mouthful. I always really like Donatello. He always seems to be one of my favorite turtle figures to have a look at, and this one is no exception. He's got some nice coloring, some good articulation, and I do like the translucent parts that came included with him, as well would it be included with all the other turtles, as we'll look at in the other reviews of Raphael and Michelangelo. Like I said, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself and you're a fan of the cartoon, you can currently now find the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures sitting on toy shelves. If you have a Toys R Us in your area, in, you, in Canada that is, uh, you should be able to find it there, or you can also find it in Target and Walmart as well. Today we were having a look though at the Playmates Toys Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was the Tech Wiz Donatello. And like I said guys, we're going to have a look at both uh, Raphael and Michelangelo. And we'll probably have a look at the entire line when it's all said and done. Because again, I'm a big fan of turtles. And you pretty much know to expect that when you're coming to this channel, if there's a new turtle line coming out, there's a good likelihood I'm probably going to be having a look at it because I'm a sucker for turtles. Don't worry, though, if Turtles isn't your thing, we're going to have a look at some other stuff coming onto this channel as well. A nice mix and match of different things. I like to consider this channel more a buffet of stuff. You're not always going to be picking the same sort of stuff, but there is enough available that you guys can fill your plate with different things, whether it be horror, whether it be superheroes, or in this case, whether it be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Either way, though, guys, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.